Extremely low budget, actually. Um, I wanted to do it because I was I fell in love with the script. I, I fell in love with the character. I, I, I was really ready and had been wanting to do something that was different and stretched me and, and challenged me. And, and this had every element that I was looking for. So at the beginning was out to another actor. So I had to sort of wait my turn until that played itself out. And then and then I was given the moment to sit in the room with the director and basically just tell him everything I, I, I knew that this required. And I, I promised him I would, you know, go to the moon and back with him. And and he said yes. Did you audition for the role in that case? No, I didn't audition. I just, I met with the director. And he was actually, you know, he, he said, you know, this is sort of an unexpected way to go. And I said, well, I understand that. And we both felt like we were taking some risks, and that's always exciting. And you're saying it was time for you to challenge yourself. This felt like a step up in some way then, didn't Absolutely. It? And I've been wanting to do that for a long time. You know, it's just about way to getting, that, getting the chance to. Having the filmmaker who's going to say, that's a really interesting idea. So you really are at the mercy sometimes of the filmmaker. And I've had an extremely lucky, wonderful, blessed career. And But I have, you know, when you are, I think... An actor identified so much with being on a TV show in your living room every week for 10 years and now every minute probably. It's hard to sort of see that. You have to kind of disappear a little more in order to shed that, say, persona, I guess. Yeah. And how frustrating is that for you as an actress, knowing what you can do, knowing that so many people still, as you say, and it was a long time ago now, still see you as Rachel from Friends? There's so many wonderful aspects of that, and there's there are frustrating aspects of it. But I also understand it. You know, it it's frustrating only because I know that there's more, I have more in me to do, and I was just waiting for that moment to get to do it. So, but I also knew that I had to find the right role in order to you know, disappear appropriately enough. But this is far more of a shift as an actor, isn't it, from than simply from comedy to serious drama? Because Claire is a wounded woman, literally, uh, physically and emotionally, and she's bearing the wounds of the car crash. Y you also had to change your body physically in order to take on this role. You stopped exercising in the way that... Claire would also have seen her body change in that way. Absolutely. Yeah, you meet a woman who's just given up. So everything about me physically and emotionally had to represent that, honestly. If there was any makeup or any toned and limbs, it would have not been authentic. It's a role, though, which does take you, as you've suggested there already, takes you out of a comfort zone to an extent. There are comic moments to this film, but it is a performance, as as I say, which, which requires other skills as an actor. Do you think, though, comedy is the more natural m mode for you as an actor? I kind of feel quite comfortable doing all of it, you know? I, I definitely know that I've made my living doing comedies primarily, but I, I don't find, I mean, I felt cake challenging in a way because I got to pull out other, you know, aspects of my, out of my actor's tool bag, you know, and, and use all sorts of different parts of myself. But I, I, I don't think one is easier than the other. I really don't. If you I approach it the way I do, which is just trying to come from a place of telling the truth. What about the research for the part, Jennifer? Did you get to know people who were being treated for depression or addiction? Well, I've known people suffering. I've known people suffering with addiction. I I have two friends in particular who suffer with chronic pain. I spoke to many doctors. I learned so much in researching this part that about the chronic pain community. That is, you know, how how severe a problem it is, and the the drugs and the addiction and all of that. It's quite it's quite horrible and it's it's a real problem but the good news about this movie is that it's really began quite a discussion around it yeah and what reaction have you had from people who live with with such conditions do you, do that's, they... the, that's been the most amazing is how many people come out after these screenings and say that's me you know i have this one man has shrapnel down the right side of his entire body and it's just every day every movement is an effort and 
another woman who said how hard it was just to get out of bed to come to see this movie, but I, I just had to, and we are suffering, and we, you know, we're a whole community, and no one believes us, and people think we can just fix it, and, and, you know, just make it better, and that it's, you know, who, why are we such complainers, and all of that, but it's a real problem, and, and, and I've now had the opportunity to speak with a lot of doctors, and it's a tough thing, because, you know, chronic pain isn't something that you can go to a doctor and just diagnose, it's something that you have to truly just trust the word of the sufferer. And that's why there's a lot of addiction out there and a lot of abuse of the pain medicine just because people, they take advantage of it. And clearly this has been a really important experience for you making this film. You're obviously very passionate about the issues. And, I mean, also it was a difficult film for you to make as an actress. Um, you didn't get the Oscar nomination that so many people had predicted. Was that upsetting? Uh, you know, I, I have to say, I think for maybe a half hour, I was a bit disappointed and, and, but the work was so, I really feel like the, I mean, it sounds so corny and cliche, but my win was really doing it. You know, for me, I was able to show myself I was capable of doing something and then to have the, the sort of public and the industry appreciate it. I couldn't ask for anything more. And even just the wonderful nods we got for Gold Globes and Critics' yes. Choice and SAG. I mean, I don't think anybody expected even those to happen. We did this movie. We started shooting this movie not even a year ago on April 3rd. So it was it was a fast-moving train. That all of it has kind of left us win with Windbird. And just finally, as you say, this is a film which, which does, I guess, shake off the shackles of the perception that you are, you know, still Rachel from Friends all those years later and shows that you are a serious actress. Is there more serious drama lined up for you in the future then? I sure hope so. I mean, I think that there's, I have been getting quite a lovely array of, of scripts, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to be next. Jennifer Aniston Cake is released on Friday the 20th of February, Certificate 15.